Here he is. Put your hands together for Pharaoh Daniels! Yeah. Y'all don't even know if I'm funny. You don't even know yet. You don't even know if I'm funny. I like him already. Yeah. I like him. He beeped him up. What's up, everybody? Y'all chilling? You guys doing okay? Everybody feeling good? I'm seeing a lot of drinks, so I'm, I feel like I can say anything. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Nah, but I just got a relationship. Anybody near a relationship? Yeah, they're quiet as shit. You hear that? <laughs> She's here right now. I can't really say anything. She's here right now. This guy have a relationship, man. I made one crucial mistake. And fellas, I'm going to put you onto a tip right now. Okay? This is game. For real. Because this happened to me. I, didn't, I had to find out the hard way. So if you want to find out if you got a good lady, if you got a hoe or a housewife, this is what you do. I'm serious. Take her to a concert. Take her to a concert. But not any concert. Don't take her to like a jazz concert, somewhere where she can like be calm and like be normal. Take her to a rap concert. I don't know what it is about rappers. They bring the hoe out of women. You notice that? Like, seriously, man. Like, I don't even care if she's like 90, 98% classy. 98% classy. That 2% is on full effect the whole night. Like, showing out. That 2% is just like, ah. It's ridiculous, man. I took my girl to a rap concert. I thought I was slick. I took her to see Wiz Khalifa. I was like, <laughs> I thought I was slick, man. I was like, I kind of look like him, you know what I'm saying? I could pull that off. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm in there. I got this. So I took her, man. You know what I'm saying? Opposite. Opposite effect. It was like the opposite of what I wanted to happen. As soon as we got there, I heard early bird gets the worm. So I showed up early like a dummy. We got to the front. So like prime screaming rain. She's like, as soon as we get there, as soon as we hit the stage, she just lost her damn mind. She's like, oh, my God. Bitch, I bought your ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Who's driving you home? Oh, now you're confused. Oh, now you're confused. Okay. Better start I Muni stops. You got a loud mouth. <laughs> For real, man. So I hope she got home safe. But <laughs> she's probably all right. She's probably all right, man. I said a prayer for her. She's good. Nah, but seriously, if I ever make any real money off, off comedy, I'm going to beat the shit out of Wiz Khalifa. He won't even, <laughs> he won't even know why. I'll just catch him at a Grammy show. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> Bitches for that concert. And just bounce out. He's like, that kid looked just like me. Who the fuck was that? <laughs> Who was that? I'll be around the corner with his chains. What is this shit? What is this? <laughs> Rappers always have weird chains. You know what I'm saying? They always got that like, weird little shit that they sold drugs. Like, it's like, I don't know, like a, their alter ego shit. I don't know. Rappers are weird, man. It does look like fun, though. It looks like fun. I just, I wish I could do it. I don't have a rapper face, man. I got dimples. It's like, <laughs> it's a permanent smile. I'm serious. I don't. Even, I, I look happy when I'm mad. I'd be like, <laughs> they still show. It's ridiculous. They still show. That's right. I don't know what I'd rap about. I'm too smart. I don't know. I don't know what. I, I don't even know what I rap about. Good grades, straight A's, did all my homework in a day. What's up? I don't know. <laughs> what do you say? I don't know. What do you rap about? It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That was stupid. But I don't know. Relationships are weird, man. I mean, I'm encountering problems, but relationships are weird. You know, the only people I feel like who have relationships down are who? Indians. You know <laughs> Everybody's like, what? What do you mean? You know why? When they get married, they get that fucking dot. The dot, the tail's off. We know, okay, you're married. Got you. You can't even mess around. You got the dot. Ah, ah got you. Can't even do it. We know what's up. But I, was, uh, but I was talking to this Indian girl. You know what I learned? You can take that dot off. It's removable. <laughs> okay, so everybody can cheat. That's not even, all right, fine. So like Sanjeet and her homegirls can go out to the club Wipe their dot off, belly dance their ass in, get their freak on, and belly dance right back out. And like nothing happened. Nothing happened. Now they're all, they're all in the car with like a red Sharpie. How is your dot, girl? How is your dot? Mine is good. Mine is good. He would never know. He would never know. Serious, man. 
Women are sneaky. You know women are sneaky. They're the most sneaky people on this earth. They're sneaky as shit. They're so sneaky. They're good about it, too. You will never know. Men were just like, yeah, she does what I say. No, she doesn't. She doesn't do shit. <laughs> she doesn't do shit, you say. She makes you think that she does. No, but it's ridiculous. I'm, I'm a little bit afraid of women. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit afraid of women. But that's only because the main woman in my life, my mom. Oh, my God. She's kind of scary. She's a little bit scary. <laughs> I'm going to try not to look anywhere, but she might be here. You never know. Watch yourselves, guys. I'm not the only one she can spank, but I'm serious. Black people feel like they can whoop anyone. It's ridiculous. I don't know. Oh, you know what? I'm going to get him. No, that's not your child. Leave him alone. <laughs> it's weird. She was cutthroat, man. She, she's a business owner, right? So she tried to like incorporate business and parenting. It's an odd combination. <laughs> I feel like it's an odd combination. To give you an example, man, this is how cutthroat she was. She had a signed contract to do our chores. Do you know, you know, you realize how genius that is, right? So that when it came time we didn't do our chores, it was legal for her to whoop our ass. <laughs> CP CPS couldn't help us. We were like, ah, oh, shit, she's got us in a pickle. <laughs> uh, so just show them the contract as soon as they, get, they signed into it. See ya, have a nice day. <laughs> shit. She's good, man, she's good. Seriously. It was cutthroat, though. You know what? I remember one time I was watching TV. You know what I'm saying? And I had signed the contract. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I had signed it. So I knew what was to come. I knew. It was Saturday. All the white kids get to watch cartoons. I'm watching cartoons, OK? But at 10 o'clock, everybody knows Price is Right is on. I told you I was a smart kid. I was watching Price is Right. That's my show, until they put Drew Carey on there, because he's like, oh, God. Like, once Bob Barker left, I was like, you guys lost your main watcher. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. I don't know that guy. I know Bob. I was waiting for somebody to get a dollar every time. But <laughs> when they got it, I was more excited than them. Mom, he just won 10000 What does that do for you? Uh, nothing. <laughs> All right, fine. I was watching her. I was watching her, man. She's effective, so she knows to step in front of the TV. I'm not gonna lie, white parents will kind of like, almost like watch TV with the kid, like, Timmy, Timmy. <laughs> Timmy, can you please, can you, what is this? Timmy, can you please go do your chores? No, that wasn't my mom. She stepped in front, bam, in my way. Couldn't see the TV. She's like, Creole, get the hell up. You know you signed that contract, go do your chores. It's like, ah. So I scoped her out real quick, I had to see what she had on. I was like, she had sweatpants on? You don't need a belt to wear sweatpants. She didn't have her weapon of choice. I was like, oh, she's unarmed. Talking shit unarmed? Fine. I tried to thug up on her real quick. I was like, Mom, please get the hell out of the way of the TV. I'm watching Price is Right. She ripped the cord out of the TV and started whooping me with it. I was like, oh, oh shit. That was irrational. It was irrational. Sometimes black parents will lose it. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, you know what? Stop. I'm stopped her mid whooping. I'm like, stop. Okay. You just ripped the cord out of the TV, so I go upstairs with zebra legs. Who's missing Touched by an Angel tonight? You are! <laughs> now, but that's been my time, you guys. Hope you have a good night.